14 years after the U.S. military adopted its controversial don't ask, don't tell policy, there is a renewed push to allow gays and lesbians to openly serve their country. But this time, the fight is being led by some former military brass. NBC's Jim Miklaszewski with that story. Gay rights advocates came to Capitol Hill to plant the flag, 12,000 to be exact, one for every service member thrown out of the military because they're gay. Tomorrow, two more gays or lesbians will be dismissed, and two more the day after that. In a letter to Congress this week, 28 retired generals and admirals have called on lawmakers to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the law which allows gays and lesbians to serve in the military as long as they keep their sexual preference a secret. Retired Army Major General Dennis Leitch was one of the 28 officers on the letter. You have 12,000 service members who have been put out. That's a complete Army division in a time when we're we are struggling to fill our ranks. We're talking about linguists, um, people in the medical field, intelligence field. Jason Knight was a foreign language specialist when he was forced out of the Navy for revealing he is gay. Especially in a time of war when we need every able-bodied person that we can have, we continue to discriminate against people. Even former Joint Chiefs Chairman General John Shalikashvili now argues that the time has come to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But top military commanders still claim that openly gay service members in the ranks would be disruptive and cause a breakdown in good order and discipline. It's become one of the hot-button issues in the race for president. Democrats are all for repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Republicans, like Senator John McCain, want to keep it as is. The best way they can have the most efficient uh, military and best equipped and best trained is to continue what has been a very successful policy, and that is don't ask, don't tell. Those retired generals claim that as many as 65,000 gays and lesbians currently serve in the military. But unless the law changes, they'll have to keep quiet about it. Jim McLeshevsky, NBC News, the Pentagon.